Let's see what's in the box. Manual. Shampoo. Not going to use that. Definitely not going to use that. Normal pulse tool I've been selling. That's it. Now this says exclusively at Target, but these are for sale all over the internet right now. So, it'd be had for about a hundred bucks. That part's a little bit different than before, but the same brush, and extraction, and of course the controls are right here, which are a little bit different. Nope, not much packing material. Really, it's ready to go out of the box. Let's put this. And, ah, that stores where it stored before. Excellent. Oh no, it looks like my cat's left me a little present. Good thing I've got a Bissell spot bot. YouTube. Today I want to talk about uh, my Bissell Spot Bot that I purchased. Now, many years ago, before I purchased this one, I had this one that I assembled from spare parts uh, because Bissell, when, at the time when they would warranty these, they didn't have any parts available other than the tanks. So basically what Bissell was doing is if they broke anything on it, they replaced. Well, I had about a pile of four or five of these, and I made one good one out of it uh, for myself. Um, so, yeah. That was many years ago. That was back in uh, 2009. It's now 2018. Uh, so, I got nine years out of it, so I'm not really complaining. But, finally, one of the housings broke, so it needed to be replaced. So, I did what I always do, is I looked around for about a month and found the best bargain. Uh, I got this one brand new in the box on eBay of all places for a hundred bucks. Um, I think full retail is about 220 on these. Um, they can have for about 150 on Amazon pretty steady. Uh, so let's get into what this thing is. This is not a replacement for your full size carpet shampooer. The primary job of one of these machines is this disc is the cleaning area and the nozzle rotates around with two bristles the nozzles right there on a random orbital so basically you set this down on the carpet you press the button and you forget about it you come back five ten minutes later when it's done and presto it's clean and I'll show you that right here oh no it looks like my cats left me a little present Good thing I've got a Bissell spot bot.
bueno. It's all done. It usually will beep once. The previous models used to beep non-stop, but this will only beep once. And that's it. That's all the noise it's going to make. So you just hit stop, always before you unplug it, and that's its complete cycle. So when you're done, let's see if you guys can see this, you just hit the big stop button and that hose button starts it. So now that we're done, I'm going to take the tool. You have to be careful because sometimes this will leak out a little bit of excess. It snaps in there. Then the hose just wraps around the unit quite nicely. And there's only one way you can wrap this hose around. It's just enough. If you do something like this, that's not going to fit in. So you definitely need to make sure the hose is wrapped around the way it was intended. So when it comes to emptying, uh, and filling the spot bot, there's a little tab that opens up right there. You can see that in the frame. And the tank is here. Now the tank will leak a little bit through here. It's not actually leaking through the tank. What there are is there's a rubber valve in there. And it's a piece of rubber, it's closed like that. And the suction opens it and it basically shakes and does this while it's running. So a little bit of residual water is normal. So you just empty this. Um, and then you just leave it on the unit uh, with this tab open and it will, uh, at least here in uh, Colorado, uh, it will evaporate out of there in about a day and be clean and won't get funky. Uh, to fill the water tank, um, basically just pull it off and they have some markings on here. Now I'm using the unique brand. Um, pet and odor. This is a concentrate, so I actually don't use these markings, but it is kind of nice they put them on there. Um, and this just unscrews. And what this is, again, there's a valve in this, so that if you put this on and you carry it out, uh, it's not going to leak out, hopefully, too much on you. Um, the air reliefs are right here, and sometimes what can happen is those can leak a little bit. Again, there's not enough that you're going to have to worry about it uh, if you just give it a good shake when you're done with the sink. Um, one thing I have about this, as you can see just compared to my fist, how small, again, sponge for reference maybe, how small this tank is. Uh, the previous generation had a slightly larger tank. Some people say don't store these with water in them. I stored the last one for 10 years with water in it, with solution always ready to go. It was never a problem for me. Again, I don't use any sort of solution. Like, don't use the Bissell stuff. If you use something that's not going to coagulate in there, it's not a problem. Um, and then that just slides on there. All right, now the other thing that you can do with this if we release this, if we look on here, we have the standard Bissell attachment, and on the side here, we have the clip, and you can then use this as an upholstery cleaner, um, stairs, cars. Uh, I personally use this when something doesn't fit in this circle. Not everything's going to fit in this circle, so uh, certain types of things, all with this out. 
find that very, very handy. Um, so this one's a 2016. So I bought old new stock. Uh, so this one came to me two, two years old already. Uh, but they haven't changed them. So in color might vary with Bissell. Just keep that in mind. So what we have up here is, let's say, uh, you have your surface stain, your set-in stain, which is a longer cycle, so short cycle, long cycle, hose, and then the all-important stop button. And the reason the stop button is important, not only if you need to stop the unit, but when you have to finish up uh, to basically keep the power from going to the circuit board, you have to hit the word stop afterwards. So it's kind of it's kind of important in terms of prolonging the life of the circuitry in the machine to always hit the stop button when you're done. Um, otherwise top plugging this just like so many other devices is bad. Um, one thing I have noticed is the tank is a little bit smaller than previous generations. Um, it might not look it, but it is. Uh, or kind of both odd shapes. Um, other thing I will say is a big improvement is it is quieter uh, than previous generations, believe it or not. So I find that to be an improvement. Um, Life expectancy, I'm not sure what the life expectancy is on this. On the previous generation, it was one to two years. Again, I got much longer than that. Uh, and who knows what happen, What will happen if I will continue to uh, get the same sort of life out of it. So I'll, I'll keep you guys updated with that, of course. Um, but this is an extremely handy little product um, to have. So I, I consider it like a must-have if you're a pet owner. Now there's a Hoover, there's a Power Flight, there's a couple other ones like this on the market. What makes this one so special is again, you press the button, it, it cleans up on the circle and you forget about it. The other ones are just a small unit with a hose. So that makes this um, kind of worth, worth its weight is it's a time saver. Um, Bissell does make one called the Little Green Machine, which doesn't have the automatic feature. Again, that automatic disc for cleanup is the reason you'd buy this. Um, so as always, uh, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Um, and I want to give a big thank you to all of our patrons who have helped keep this channel going. Um, you actually did not pay for this device, but you do help with so many of the other costs of uh, doing YouTube. And everybody, please get on Instagram and follow us on the link below at Performance Reviews. We are now on Instagram. Um, and soon to be Instagram TV. So again, subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, and thanks for watching.